What about the bullpen? Numbers, they look good. Clay Holmes, he's been terrific. Six for seven in save opportunities. No earned runs allowed. And the rest of the cast, it's been getting the job done even with men down. Do you still see the bullpen as a strength? I do. You, you don't know what's going to happen later in the summer as far as maybe adding, and you can always add bullpen arms, but Ferguson's been really solid from the left side. Hamilton, now that Loisaga is out for the year, Hamilton has been that multi-inning guy down there. He threw an outstanding game yesterday in game one, giving him two solid innings and then handing it over to home. So you don't know what's going to happen today because of the usage that they had the first two games on Saturday, but the bullpen's solid. Every time the uh, boom goes down there, these guys are doing the job but the starters when you get consistent innings and these guys are going deep in the game now the fourth and fifth guys you would like to see a little more innings out of them get them six maybe seven innings if that's possible but the top three has been getting you deep into the game and it eliminates some of the outs the long outs like you had yesterday 12 outs from the bullpen in the first game and then you had that nine in the second game and just a big picture question. I want to get your thoughts around the majors. We've seen a rash of injuries, serious ones in the pitching category. And because of the names being headliners, Atlanta's ace Spencer Strider now on that list, the Yankees' Jonathan Loisaga, of course, it's put a bright spotlight on the issue. What are your thoughts around all the contributing factors to all these Tommy John surgeries? Well, I don't know if there's a wrong answer if somebody comes up with a reason why this is happening. You know, you can go back to youth baseball and, and how much these young kids are playing through the summer. They go from pitching and into another demanding position. I know they have regula 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 regulations about pitches and how many days rest, but still you're going into a, a shortstop role or behind the plate. And then you have these companies at the big league level. And, and to be honest, I probably would have tried the same thing as far as increasing velocity. You have devices and companies saying hey you know I can increase these guys velocity by two three miles an hour and, and they're constantly playing throughout the winter so there's no downtime and when they go into spring training your ulnar nerve just cannot handle that pressure I mean even Dr. Andrews a, a phenomenal doctor throughout baseball even said with the velocity that these guys are throwing there's no way that your elbow is going to be able to handle it and I think you've seen this over the last what five ten years now and it's just getting worse and worse it, will it ever end or will there ever be a fix uh, you're going to tell a company saying hey you know what you can't be in baseball anymore because you're hurting these kids or devices that's not going to happen it's definitely an issue and a, a storyline to watch jeff thank you so much as always and we will see you shortly with john flaherty for the call of the game look forward to that